Good morning everybody, this is Dark Comet and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day out there. The purpose of today's video is to give you the list of the general and the role daily challenges for Red Dead Online on this Wednesday, the 30th of September, to give you Madame Nazar's location, to give you my top three general dailies. So if you only have a little bit of time and need to continue those streaks, I'll give you some recommendations for that. And I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough of all the daily challenges today so that if you uh, want to know where I like to go, locations I like to use to get those accomplished, we can take a look at that. So let's go to the list and see what we got, guys. Let's get busy. The general challenges include kill 20 animals, travel 10,560 meters on a train, kill 5 flying birds while you're on that moving train, complete two free roam events kill three players in Deadeye while in free roam events clean three weapons with your gun oil and sell five whole animal carcasses for the bounty hunter we have loot three targets take down two targets with your bolas and complete one player bounty. For the trader we have donate 20 carcasses within 10 minutes, 20 donations to crypts, and complete two resupply missions. For the collector role we have drink an antique alcohol, sell three items to Madame Nazar, and find three lost jewelry. For the moonshine roll we have have two player interactions at your moonshine bar. Serve four drinks to players at your bar and sell any moonshine delivery with at least 18 bottles still intact. For the naturalist roll we have take five animal samples and sell them to Harriet. Take three mountain or grassland animal samples and take three wetland animal samples. For my top three today we're gonna travel that distance on a train we're going to kill five birds while we're on that moving train and then we're gonna clean three weapons with our gun oil so those are our top three it's pretty easy to get the moving train um, just go over to McFarland's Ranch or any of the other railroad stations and jump on that train just get on the back car, kill five flying birds with any weapon you have, and then for the weapons clean with gun oil, just go to your gun oil. Uh, make sure you have it in your in your uh, inventory. Um, go over and clean those weapons. You're going to get them dirty today anyway. So those are my top three. Enjoy, guys. Madame Nazar today is located over in the Great Plains. She's just north of Manzanita Post and west of Blackwater. So take any of those fast travel points go and see Madame Nazar today and make sure you sell some stuff to her today for the dailies and buy those collectors maps guys happy collecting hey guys on a personal note uh, just wanted to let you know that I was pretty excited uh, this weekend when one of my favorite YouTube artist teachers he decided to highlight one of my abstract paintings on his channel if you want to go check it out um, it's called imperfect paintings so it goes to hashtag m perfect paintings that's i m p e r f e c t paintings all one word and go check out albert's channel there he's from the netherlands and uh you'll find me about 6 15 into the video that's sean from germany by the way and hope you enjoy my painting if you want to check it out and I'll put the link to the video down in the description, and I hope you enjoy it, guys. So, catch you later. For the first general challenge today, we have killed 20 animals. It could be any 20 animals. Uh, for instance, I killed 17 earlier today um, just by getting the donations for Crips. He needs 20 carcasses today. Um, I just went around and killed rabbits and raccoons and ducks um, and flying birds. So I'm going to go over here and get my last three for you. 
could be some ducks in the pond here. There you go. That's the last three. Uh, go ahead and kill 20 animals today. And then that day will be completed, guys. So good luck. The next two general challenges include traveling 10,560 meters on any train and killing five flying birds from that moving train. Those are really late related today, so I'll show them to you both at the same time. I'm going to travel over here to McFarland's Ranch because that's the best probability of us getting a train today really quick. Usually when you arrive, it's coming right up the tracks. We'll see what happens. And then sometimes you have to wait about one minute or so and then it comes to the train station there. Let's see what happens here. There you go guys, look at that. Got a uh, train coming right now. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what it's like. You can get your trains over at Armadillo. Um, another good probability, Flatneck Station, they'd like to come. There's a couple other places. Uh, along the map there at other train stations you can go to but this is my favorite McFarland's Ranch and then once the train starts to move you can kill flying birds uh, make sure it's daytime because it's a lot easier to kill birds during the daylight hours uh, you're gonna get anything from ravens and condors and little flying birds things like that quite a plenty um, at nighttime, you might think things like um, owls and things like that, but it's not that easy. So look at there's one right there, prairie chicken. If I can get that, we'll see what happens here. Trees are getting in the way. I'll look for other flying birds. Sometimes you don't see them until you go through the tunnel. Um, if that's the case, they'll be. Oh, there they are! Look at that. That one didn't count because it hadn't taken off yet, of course. Just uh, kind of do a little 360 recon here as you're riding in the moving train. Um, by the time you hit Armadillo, you should already have that distance as well. So that's what another reason I like McFarland's Ranch. Just travel from McFarland's Ranch to Armadillo and you should have your distance as well. Two birds with one stone or bullet today. <laughs> So once you come through the tunnel, I'll be able to kill some birds. On the road again. <laughs> Let's take that train through this tunnel here. Okay, looks like Crips has a resupply available for me sometime here. Might do that one today. Okay, let's look for flying birds here. You might be able to fly them on the cliffs here or just flying around. Hopefully, I'll get lucky with some flying birds. Too far away right now. There's one, guys. There's one. Here's the second one. There's four. Come on, number five. Who's gonna be number five? Condor, Raven. Who's it gonna be? on birds
go guys there's five flying birds and let's take a look at the distance here just shortly past Tarmadillo I guess today we're gonna get that distance so I'll just travel a little bit once it moves on got our five flying birds killed from a moving train done right now and then we'll come over here and get the last few meters of distance here shouldn't take that long got a fellow compadre over here sitting in the train gonna do the same thing so just get around the curve here from armadillo and it should be counted it is a long distance guys but it's pretty easy all you do is sit in the train don't do anything just get on that train and chill out of course I get a griefer You know, some players are just jerks. They can't help themselves. So we'll take care of that griefer. And we'll get the rest of our distance. So... Here we go. Griefer down again. Why are people such jerks, man? I did not provoke that guy. He came at me and just killed me on the train there. All he had to do was just chill for the distance. But, you know, some, like I said, some players can't help themselves. Complete idiots, man. Okay, there you go. Day they completed. If he shows up again, I'll just kill him again. He's a pretty bad griefer. <laughs> Rookie. Okay, for the next challenge, we have complete two free realm events. I already did one today when I did it with my kill three players and with the dead eye in free realm. So, just do any PvP uh, or non-PvP event like tagging those animals doing the fishing contest um, you can also do the, the player versus player ones which you have to do anyway for the second challenge so just go ahead and do king of the castle cold dead hands fool's gold for instance uh, do any two combination of events and those two dailies will be completed um, i'm going to show you how i did my player kills in my king of the castle there i'm going to show you how I kill with dead eye here. There you go. Just go in the dead eye with R3. Mark the targets there with your X there above their head. And then shoot away. Um, just kill three players in any free mode event this PvP. And You'll have that data completed.
there you go guys two free roam events completed just did the legendary animal protection non pvp free roam event and then that means all my seven general daily challenges are complete today guys so pretty awesome and we'll look forward to tomorrow and see what happens for the next general challenge we have cleaning three weapons with any gun oil if you don't have any gun oil make sure you go to any gun shop today and purchase it from the gunsmith there or just go to your catalog and go into the hunting and fishing area and then buy some gun oil there and then pick it up in your mailbox so I'm gonna show you how to clean a weapon here just go to any weapon that says maintain hit R3 hit the square button for clean and then once you have cleaned three weapons today all that daily will be completed I'm sorry guys I accidentally deleted my video showing my completion of, of cleaning three weapons but I don't think you need to see that so uh, life happens and uh, just clean three weapons with gun oil today and your daily will be completed guys for the last general challenge we have sell any five whole animal carcasses so I'm going to do that over at Gus today. We usually go to the butcher, but um, I'm going to go to Gus. So go to any Gus location or go to any butcher and then sell five whole animal carcasses. Remember, they can't be skins. They have to be the carcasses themselves. Again, I would suggest selling small animal carcasses if you got them or if you already have your wagon full. Um, go ahead and get some of those or just bring them over. There's no time limit on these so you can sell them throughout the day to Gus or to your butcher. Um, butchers are located in things like Valentine and Tumpweed for instance. So I'm going to sell these five small animal carcasses here. And then that last daily should be completed. There you go guys. So that's all the general challenges for today. And we'll now we'll take out the roll challenges. For the three bounty hunter challenges today, we have loot any three targets, take down two targets with bolas, and get a player bounty. So for these two here, uh, you can just uh, bring in any three targets from any bounty poster. You can even do that from the same poster if you want to. Just get a four person to six person uh, bounty poster and go do that one and then make sure you bring down at least two of those with your bolas uh, make sure that you hog time afterwards because otherwise you'll lose that bola and that's a pretty expensive loss there so just go to your bolas throw them at your tar target it'll wrap them up and throw them on the ground then go over there and hog time and get back that bola and then do that again you can also do that in uh in a legendary just go over to um, alhoot family and uh, they're pretty easy to take down with the bolas there so that's my suggestion and then the last one is collect any player bounty that one's a little bit difficult unless you have a friend that's going to help you because you, the player has to get twenty dollars plus of bounty on their head then they have to be going to a town you have to be in that town you have to get accept the quest then you have to find them track them down and hog tie them and bring them into the closest jail um, but by that time they usually just leave or jump on a fast travel um, so it's good to have a f this one coordinated with a friend have them get a bounty on their head if you've never done this challenge I suggest that you go and do it just for fun it takes a lot of work to get $20 in your head just go over to St. Denis by the police station and just kill 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 those blue cops there um, that's gonna uh, really increase the bounty on your head or kill lawmen um, but every once in a while you'll get bounty hunters on you you gotta kill those you don't get any more bounty on you that way but you just gotta avoid it and, and survive and then uh, coordinate that with a friend uh, tell them you're gonna be uh, they can then catch you and turn you into the jail and then that day will be completed it's a, it's a pretty fun to do from both sides so I suggest doing it at least once in your life so if you haven't done it um, but I'm not gonna do that one today so good luck on your bounty hunter challenges guys we'll see you later for the trader roll today, we have donate 20 animal carcasses to Crips within 10 minutes and donate 20 donations to Crips and complete two resupply missions. So these two can be actually combined today. Uh, just go and kill any 
animals. Uh, I suggest doing me medium animals and throwing in your wagons. You can hold the 10 there and donating 10 small uh, animals there such as uh, bullfrogs and toads and rats and bats for instance because you already had those in your satchel and then the 20 donations can be obviously it can be the carcasses or it can be things like feathers uh, horns and teeth and things like that so uh, just make sure you get 20 car donations in the crypts but make sure you get that 10 minute uh, back to there done first so let's go and donate some animal carcasses to crypts I have 10 medium animals in here. I think there's some turkeys and some raccoons and um, rabbits, things like that. So let's go donate those. Oh, there's the there's the table over here. So let's donate these 10 medium-sized animals here first. Supplies are running down fast. Got some turkeys. Excellent. Thank you. Raccoons. That's top notch. More turkeys. This is good quality. More rabbits. I suppose this will do. Raccoon. Uh, ravens. Nice. And we'll come up here and give him some small animal carcasses here. I'll take whatever I can get. Okay, hopefully that'll be both dailies complete here. Got 20 animal carcasses within 10 minutes. And 20 donations to Crips, guys. So then go over here to Crips and do any resupply once he reaches his stopping point there. So when you go to Crips, go to here. It'll say resupply mission. It's, uh, he has to get 25 goods to have that production stop. Just make sure you do two of those today, and all of your Come trader on, rolls man. will be completed, guys. Good luck. For the collector roll today, we have drink any antique alcohol, sell three items to Madame Nazar, and find three lost jewelry. So first of all, I'll show you where the Antique alcohol is in your bags here. Just go over here to your satchel. Go over to your collections. Go down to your antique alcohol bottles here. I usually choose one that I'm not going to use in my moonshine shacks, such as the Grand Corazon, uh, Madeira bottle, or an Irish uh, Scotch whiskey, or something like that. So I have a lot of uh, cognac today. So I think I'm going to drink one of those. I'll chug on that there, guys. Cheers and prost. For the second collector daily today, we have sell any three items to Madame Nazar. So, remember she's over here in the Great Plains, right north of Manzanita post fast travel. So let's go sell three items to her. I got some night watch collection guys we'll take a look at that in a second so I'm gonna sell three items here got quite a few duck and goose eggs gonna bring that at least down to five each because then I can collect the whole batch once they're available to me but it's worth selling these as and I have a family heirloom set guys pretty awesome and a lost jewelry that's set so that's some pretty good haul there so sell any three items to Madame Nazar and then I'm gonna come over here and I'll show you the night watch collection for this week so we have the pilgrim moonstone ring Wisteria plant and hot cakes. So if you get any of those three collections today uh, and throughout the week, just make sure you sell those and you'll get eighty dollars, guys. Okay, so let's go open up the 
Lost jewelry here. Lost jewelry map here. I'll show you where those are located today. Okay, we got some very close to each other over here in the West Elizabeth. Got lost jewelry right here. Lost jewelry right here. By the upper Montana River area. And I got one over here by McFarland's Ranch. So get three of those last jewelry today. And then all three of your collector roll delis will be completed, guys. Good luck collecting. For the Moonshiner Daily today, we have two-player two interactions at the bar. You can invite people to your bar from the side wall. Uh, you can invite them by going to camp properties and then going down to an, uh, Moonshine Shack and invite players there, anybody in your free roam. Uh, they can come in. Um, once they accept, they have to be, everybody has to be in offensive mode. You have to get drunk and then you can slap them or hug them. Um, then you have to leave the bar and come back and do it again. So I kind of like to do it this way here, which is the um, go over here and go to the door when it says enter here. As soon as you hit the uh, triangle button, just hit that circle button, spam, 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 as fast as you can go, and then it'll uh, give you a player interaction. Once you enter the moonshine bar, just go on outside again and rinse and repeat so walk up to your door again hit triangle circle 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 and there you go two player interaction is completed at the bar and then the same thing goes for the serving four players just go ahead and invite anyone to your bar here you can invite them from the shack guest list you can invite anybody that has the invite here. Or you can go over to left on your D-pad there. Go down to camping properties. Moonshine Shack. Invite to Shack. And of course I've already invited all those three guys. If they showed up, uh, then come over to your bar here. Make sure you're tending the bar. With the triangle button. And then you will see serve drink on the table here uh, once they walk up to the bar they can lean on the bar and then request a drink that serve drink is going to change to a cu serve customer and this hit four of those you can do them to the same person to get all four done or you can uh, do it to any combination thereof we've got someone coming to the shack here let's see if they if they come here okay if they come to the bar they can lean on the bar and request a drink. There you go, serve customer. Once they take it, hit that triangle again, serve customer. Cheers, Prost. Serve customer again. Serve myself here. And cheers and Prost. And hit that last four. There you go. Uh, serving four customers to the bar is completed. And I'll show you how we do a little bit of interaction here if someone comes in your bar. See, they're not in offensive mode. It's not going to work, so I'll go and help them out. Get on the bar. Request that drink with the square button. Obviously a rookie, so I'll come over here again. Lean on the bar. Take the bar drink here. Just gonna toss it to the side. There's dispatch rider if you need that today. 
uh, just go ahead and do Dispatch Rider for the three player kills in Deadeye. Request that drink. He's going to serve it. I'll discard mine here. And then let him serve me again. Take that. Third drink. And then I'll take the fourth drink in case he needs that fourth drinking served to other players of the bar. And I'll drink this one up to his health here. So cheers and prost, guy. And happy trails. For the last Moonshine Daily, we have deliver any Moonshine delivery with 18 bottles or more intact. Just go over here to sell here. Go to deliveries of Moonshine and deliver to your preferred buyer. Uh, or even you can even deliver to Brit. Bird Higgins if you want to, but I suggest making more money by delivering it to your preferred buyer. Make sure there's 18 bottles or more intact when you're done. Uh, drive carefully. Uh, take care of going over railroad tracks. Spin, don't go over rocks. And don't swerve off and hit a tree or anything like that. Um, when you're done, uh, make sure there's 18 or more bottles left. And then that daily will be completed, guys. For the three naturalist dailies today, we have cell 5 samples to Harriet. Because we have 20 kills plus of animals today, you probably go with the Harriet and she'll probably spray you. So to avoid that, I suggest going on any moonshine mission. So go to progress, go to story missions, go to lava shine, uh, do bitter means to bitter end or certainty of death and taxes. If you do any of those, you're going to be fairly close to Legra where she's located. Just ride on over to her and talk to her. She shouldn't spray you because uh, she doesn't usually do that in missions. If she does, I'll be highly surprised. So let's go see what happens. The scales of the universe will see justice for your cruelty. Mark me. So I think even if we sell here, she shouldn't. Oh, she's going to spray me, guys. I've never had this happen in a moonshine mission. Oh, they must have fixed it. Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> oh well, crazy lady. She even sprays me in moonshine missions. I've never had that happen. I've had it successful 100% um, of the time before now, so unless they change something on Tuesday. Um, they really don't want people making money or doing their dailies, I guess. Uh, we'll come over here and we'll get, we'll get uh, sprayed. So we'll come back and do Harriet in a minute. Um, let's go check and see what the other two dailies for the Naturalist Roll are. We have collect three samples from mountain and grassland animals. Well, let's go here to see what those are. So mountain grassland animals are rocky mountain bull elks and the cows, badgers, any wolves, uh, white-tailed deer, you'll find plenty of those, and bucks. California Coyotes, there's quite a few of those all over the place, so it shouldn't be too hard. Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep and Rams. You have your Wild Boar, which is over here in the Blue Water Marsh area, so it shouldn't be too bad. You got the Slow Big Moving Bison over there in the Heartlands and the Great Plains. And then you have American Pronghorns, just make sure they're American, not the Baja ones like they're in the desert. And then take any three samples and those will be completed. And then if you come over here to your wetland habitats, you'll see the last naturalist daily. Uh, take samples from small alligators and regular sized alligators, uh, green iguanas, snapping turtles, you got your panthers, you got northern copperheads and timber rattlesnakes and midland water snakes, diamondbacks, and you have Things like cotton mouse snakes, so there's quite a few wetland snakes. I think the easiest one to do is to go get the uh, snapping turtles. You usually find those over on the map uh, right by Black Bell's house. If you know that from story mode, I'll show you where that is. It's right over here towards the peninsula. You're going to have Black Bell 
Bell's house right over here by the intersection here. Um, just get the snapping turtles as they're walking around. They're pretty slow. Um, also, there's a lot of alligators in this area, but alligators like to run into the water, so make sure they're on dry land first. So they can't get too far away. And of course, uh, get any wild boar in the area, and you'll get all those samples taken. So, good luck with that. And we'll see if uh, Harriet's back to not being so mad at us today. It looks like she's still grayed out here. I'll have to come back here in a second. And once she's available, and sell those samples to her. It's just for a few days. If I let you out again, you'll only run off. The truth is out there, and inside your own very spirit. I can help you find it. Okay, guys, let's try to get three, <laughs> five animal samples sold to, to Lady Harriet here. Taught you a lesson. Let us get back on track, yes? My lesson has been taught. I do not like you. <laughs> okay, let's sell some okay. samples to her. What do you propose? I'm going to sell at least five sheep so I can fill those back so in again. Seem to get that farmland sample one the all the time. More? What else do you have squirreled away? I think I even have a legendary I sample here to from under a today's that challenge. Thing. Hope it doesn't miss this. Every mammal I meet feels like looking in a mirror. A fine yeah. sample. What a fascinating species. Your hairstyle looks like you haven't looked in a mirror for a while there, Harriet. You know, mammal comes from breast. The giving power of the mother. The nurturing breast. This beautiful creature is not so different from you or me. Practically the same. Another one. Fine, I'll take it. Around animals this magnificent, I am humbled. I am in awe. Thank you for this. Okay, that should complete the old daily for selling to Harriet today. Five animal samples. While I'm here, I'm going to take advantage of her kindness and I'm going to buy some sedation bullets here, guys. So, let me see here. If only these were in all okay, you'll see. also see no, that this week there's no a number of so tonics and stuff mission. from Harriet that are on discount. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, go up and fill up on your tonics from Harriet. And you can spend less money today, guys. So good luck on your Naturalist Dailies. And that should do all of it for us today, guys. Okay guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was of some benefit to you today um, and helped you get those dailies done. Uh, please make sure you hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to the channel there and hit uh, notification bell for future episodes for more Red Dead Online adventures and other activities I'm going to do. Um, hope you have a great day out there and stay safe. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys.